Hello students. In previous lecture, we discussed attributes of body tag. So the main heading was the basic HTML tags. In basic HTML tags, we did HTML tag, head tag, within head tag, we can use title tag, style tag and script tag and after that we did body tag these are the basic html tags and we did the attributes of body tag after this we had to start with elements in the body are categorized into five categories again we are learning the basic tags of html the elements the tags which are used in body tag are of course html tags so we are going to learn about the body elements. There are various tags which can be used within the body itself like paragraph tag, heading tags, list tags. So all these tags are categorized into five categories. First category is text block elements. In text block elements, all, the, all those tags which gives formatting to the block of the text comes under text block elements like body element contains all the displayed content of course the body element contains all the contents which are displayed in a document structurally the document content is organized into blocks of text blocks of text like for example paragraph a doc HTML document contains multiple paragraphs. So a block of text is structured into paragraphs, multiple paragraphs. Even the contents within the paragraph, I can list them. If I want to display the list of items, list of items for that, there, there are list tags available. So they deal with some block of text some block of text I want to list within the HTML document. So paragraphs, lists, headings, we have done H1 to H6 tags. Headings also comes under the text block elements, block quotations and so on. Block quotation is also a tag. Quotation is also a tag which comes under text block elements. These elements like paragraphs, lists, headings, Quotations, they all come, these all elements are known as block elements. Block elements can often contain other block. A block of elements can contain another block of elements. For example, a paragraph contain lists. So that's what block elements can often contain other blocks. For example, a list item can contain paragraph or a paragraph can a paragraph can contain list item or block quotations. So I'll tell you what block quotation is. First, understand what are text block elements. Category, which all tags fall under this category. The, the tags which fall under these category, this category are paragraph, head, list, quotation, and many more. These elements can often nest together. Nest together means within the paragraph, I can use the list tags also. So one tag inside another tag, that is list nesting. For example, previously we had seen many examples. If you remember, Here, the nesting of tags is not there. Let me check in this. See, here I have used bold tag. And within this bold tag, I have used font tag. The innermost tag is closed first. Then the outermost tag is closed in the last okay so within bold tag i've used font tag so 
the tags are nested so these elements can often nest together for example there is a paragraph i will use paragraph tag and within that paragraph tag i can use list tags also so nesting is there what are the common block level elements which the elements which fall and un, falls under this category headings that we have already discussed in previous videos h1 to h6 paragraph tag falls under text block elements address tag this we will be learning block code this we don't have to do in detail but if required i will definitely explain it in detail pre tag we will learn hr tag hr is horizontal rule pre is pre formatted tag form tag this is also we don't have to learn in detail table tag very important tag five marks question always comes from this table tag okay so these are the tags which falls under text block elements next category is text emphasis elements as the name suggests emphasis it emphasizes on the text if i want the reader to focus on something so i will emphasize on that so for that there are various emphasis elements available and the elements which falls under this category are em tag emphasized citex cite tag citation bold italics pre these tags comes under text emphasis tag so as you can see pre falls under this category also text block elements and pre also falls under text emphasis elements because it emphasize it helps to emphasize on a content that we will be learning in detail later first we will discuss the categories these elements the, these are elements that mark text for special meaning some if i want to show some that this text is special for example that a particular piece of text is emphasized or a citation citation means you can make note of this cite tag is used to define a works title for example a book movie painting etc et for example there's a book the title of the book if i want to emphasize on the title of the book that time i will use cite tag this we don't have to do in detail cite we have to do em tag which is emphasize tag bold italics and pre this we don't have to do in detail if it is required if it will be required i will definitely explain you in detail about cite tags but for now you just have to know that cite tag is used to define a works title for example a book's title a movie's title or a painting's title okay or that specifies the desired physical formatting if i want to uh, emphasize on some text i might make it bold i might make it italics okay these elements can usually appear anywhere inside a block element these are the block elements so these elements can appear inside a block element or you can say nest inside a block element for a few exceptions you can't have images inside a pre element sorry i mentioned that pre is also text emphasis element no pre is text block elements only here they are specifying that inside pre element we cannot use image tag we have independent topic on images that we will be learning in further uh, topics of this chapter so for pre element we cannot use inside pre element we cannot use images but these text emphasis elements like em tag cite tag 
bold italics these can be used within within what text block elements special elements next category is special elements anchor tag you might remember that we had seen an example of anchor tag in previous video i, I will show you when i was trying to explain you link attribute of body tag visited link of body tag that time i had explained you the anchor tag this falls under which category special elements href is hype full form of href is hypertext reference here we specify the location of the document where i want to jump while clicking on the text specified within the starting anchor tag and closing anchor tag so anchor falls under special elements then fourth category is character level elements character level elements means the characters within a document we use many characters of course characters are nothing but a b c d so character level elements like br br tag falls under character level elements break that we have already discussed in previous videos images we will discuss in the new this is whole completely independent topic which we will be learning in further videos these are treated much like characters and can appear wherever there is character in a document like break element to you know wherever i want to break a line i will use br tag okay fifth category is character references character references for example i will share a ppt with you can you see this e has this no this is known as acute this is known as grave this line this is known as circumflex so these are known as accented accented characters non askai characters are like these see this sign copyright sign this is the name ampersand or and you can say copy semicolon so there are many non askai characters so for these we use character references finally there are characters or entity references this is the last category fifth category these are special html escape codes that can be used to enter special characters that are hard to type such as accented just now i had told you what are accented these are accented characters and other non askai characters you also need to use these type these to type angle brackets or ampersand angle brackets why we require to use to type angle angle within the html doc angle bracket within the html document because the web browser might interpret the angle bracket as a tag so it will misinterpret it so to print angle bracket we need to use the tags which falls under character references ampersand to uh, write for example i want to write angle bracket in my html document for that i will use for that i'm going to use ampersand ampersand lt 
semicolon. For example, I had to write in my HTML document, I had to write 7 is less than 10. If I wanted to write this in my HTML document, 7 is less than 10. So I require to write this angle bracket. How will I write it? By using ampersand, LT and semicolon. As we have seen, to write copyright, we require ampersand, copy and semicolon. So while writing the HTML code, I will have to specify this 7 ampersand or and sign LT less than semicolon. So if I want to again ampersand is a part of character references. What if I want to print ampersand? I don't want to print I, I, that ampersand. I don't want to use it as HTML code. Some HTML code. I want to print and. To print and also we require character references. I hope you are clear with this. We don't have to do this much in detail though I can show you if it will be required I will definitely show you in detail how to do how to deal with character references. Next topic is paragraph tag. We are doing basic HTML tags. We are done with HTML head. Within head we can use title, script, style, body. And now what we are doing, the elements within the body tag are categorized into five categories. So we are going to learn in detail paragraph tag now. Paragraph tag can also be used in body tag. Now this paragraph tag falls under body elements body element paragraph is a body element paragraph we can use in body tag and this paragraph falls in this category text block elements paragraph we have already seen in detail if i want to have paragraph in the html document i will use paragraph tag if you remember we have paragraph tags okay these paragraph tags can also have attributes attributes like align align is equal to center so let's see align is equal to center in double inverted commas control s and i will open this with google chrome see this paragraph i have i have aligned to center so this paragraph is aligned to center. So a paragraph can have attributes also. HTML automatically adds an extra blank line before and after a paragraph. A browser ignores any indentations or blank lines in the source text. Blank lines, for example, I'll put so many blank lines within this paragraph tag. I will save it. Control S and I will refresh it. See, can I see those lines which I had, which I have in this HTML document? No, it ignores it. And in this indentations means, can you see this text is is aligned here 
and the remaining text is aligned here so this is known as indentations so a browser ignores any indentations indentations like for example i want this i want this line to appear from here let me see can is this reflecting in the web page no it's starting from here only so indentations are ignored without p elements the document becomes one large paragraph of course we should divide our content into paragraph the closing tag may be omitted because this browsers understand that we that when they encounter a p tag it means that the previous paragraph has ended ended however since html now allow certain attributes to be assigned in the p tag is generally a good idea to include include the closing paragraph tag next next element which we are going to do is address element the address element is used for address information like if i want to specify mostly a website has a web page named about or contact us home page you might have seen about contact us so in contact us or in about web page i might if suppose i have a company i might specify the address of my company so if i want to specify the address information for that i can use address element if i want to specify some signature my company signature logo that time i can use address element sign statements of authorship like if this website is developed by so and so person that is statement of authorship so for that we use address element it is often placed at the bottom or top of a document the rendering of the contents of the address is up to the browser most browsers renders the address in italics now address element as i had told you before also that different browsers interpret the same html code differently so some browsers might dif might render it interpret it differently some browsers might show the contents within the address in italics or it might be right justified right justified means if you have worked in word for example i am opening a word i'm copying this paragraph into word so right justified means can you see the alignment here align left align center align right justify okay if i want to right justify it everything every text will be aligned to the right okay right justified or indented i have told you what is indentation that's what we'll see the example of address element this web page this html document i have created already to save time i'll open it with google chrome
can you see this thing here i have used address element the different tags which i have used within this html document we will see to them one by one but right now we are learning address element so we are focusing on the content of the html document where i have used address tag so this is address element here i have used address element so let's go to the source code of html here i have used see i have used paragraph tag i have used address element then i have used anchor tag if you remember anchor tag href is the attribute of anchor tag and this is the location of the hyperlink and this is the content where i will click and it will take me to the to this location this location okay and anchor tag is closed i had told you the tag which is the innermost will be closed first and then the outer one and then the outermost if you see okay so i have made this hyperlink and i have used address tag with this by default it is in italics let's see the output it is in italics and this is hyperlink hyperlink is always underlined so when i will click on this it will take me to this location full form of href is hypertext reference so let me see where it's going to take me to this website the location which i have specified got it let's see the source code then again i have used paragraph tag address and this is the content web web designer i want to break the line from here and i want to specify the telephone number i close the address tag paragraph tag so this is what is the output this is in italics because i have used address tag one line is added before and after this because i have used paragraph tag wherever i use paragraph tag it automatically adds one line before and after the paragraph here i had used br tag so it broke the line and this line came in new line and this is in italics because i have used address element so let's see the same example an address cannot contain p tag block quote form or other block elements the first pet category which we which we had discussed text block elements so the text block elements cannot be used within the address tag we cannot it cannot be used within the address tag see it cannot paragraph tag cannot be used here this paragraph tag cannot be used after address before it's possible but after address we cannot use paragraph tag that is what it meant even block quote we cannot use after address we cannot use form after address but before i can use but can contain text of course address element can contain the text it can contain 
text marker markup emphasis emphasis tag which we had discussed em tag in second category text emphasis em tag that we can use after address tag anchor elements also we can use after address tag as you will see after address tag only i have used anchor tag then even we can use images images we will be learning in detail in later videos then br tag br tag again is used when you want to br tag we have seen it is used to break the line it is an empty tag empty tag means it doesn't have closing tag if you see the example i have nowhere used closing br tag you might not have seen this tag anywhere closing br tag it is an empty tag which means it doesn't have closing tag so for today we will stop here in next video we will start with hr tag which is has horizontal rule Thank you.